What is up guys, it's Punjabi Prodigy bringing you some Call of Duty Ghost gameplay and uh, this gameplay it is I believe 35 or 35 kills and 18 deaths and I'm um, using Honey Badger, Suppressor Foregrip and uh, Extendo Mags and basically that's not the topic, what I'm doing today is uh, a series called What's News Wednesdays and if you guys, well you guys are not familiar with it because it's a new series but this new series is going to consist of me talking about what's new, basically news and uh, based on gaming mostly, it might be real life, but I'm just going to state my opinion, what I think about it, and uh, what I think it's good or bad, basically. So, let's get started. Today's topic is Microsoft vows to release an Xbox 360 em emulator for Xbox One, and uh, if you guys don't know what an emulator is, let me... Let me read you off what Google defines it as. It says, emulator. In computing, an emulator is a hardware or a software or both that duplicates or emulates the functions of one computer system, the guest. Other computer in other computer systems, the host, different from the first one, so that the emulated behavior closely resembles the behavior for of the real system, the guest. So, basically what I, Microsoft, I should say, is saying when they say when they say they vow to release a Xbox 360 emulator for Xbox One is they basically are saying they vow to release a way to get Xbox 360 games and I think just games basically on uh, Xbox One. And I'm gonna go through the cons first and uh, you know that basically um, the cons what I think is. I mean, Xbox One is a new console, it's next gen, you should only be able to play new games, like, maybe it's good, you know, if you get some old games, but what's the point of buying an Xbox One if you can just play it? Xbox 360 and play all the same games, like, Titanfall was an Xbox exclusive, 360 players can play it too, it's not just Xbox One. That kind of makes sense, but, like, what's the point in having an Xbox One? when you can just play all the same games on the 360 which is cheaper but another con to that is uh... oh i should say the pro to that is you can play old games with new new graphics you know that's kind of a pro like you can play world at war with like 1080p or i think it's 720p the highest on the xbox one but that's really good because you know like instead i had the oldest xbox not not the old xbox i had the xbox 360 elite so it kind of had bad graphics, you know, I had my Xbox 360 whenever I turned around would roar like a lion, so kind of, but it's kind of good because you don't have to waste money again on old games. I wish I didn't sell GTA 5 because instead of buying GTA 5 for the next gen, I could have just, I could just use my old, you know, version, Xbox 360 version on the Xbox One. Kind of didn't make sense, but I guess not. Um, another con to this is... Basically, Microsoft is losing money, and what I mean by that, like, they're basically m losing money. I don't know whether you guys care, but they're kind of being stupid, because instead of people going out and buying a new version of Ghost for um, Xbox One, they're just going to use their old 360 version, which you're losing, like, an extra $60 there. Like, you got to be smart about it. Like, if I was in charge, I wouldn't do it, because... I would be a money whore, and, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of a con to that, but a pro to that is, you know, again, you don't have to waste money in old games, like, I can jump on right now if they release the emulator and play Black Ops 1 Zombies on Xbox One, which is really good, so, overall, I do think this is a good thing, but I kind of want to kind of go more in depth into it, like, Really, like, what were they thinking when they thought this? Like, it's a good thing in my opinion because, you know, I actually kind of like the idea of playing World at War on Xbox One, you know. But what were they thinking when they released the Xbox One? Did they know they were going to release an emulator to have 360 games on it? Like, why would, what's the point of the Xbox One then? Just better graphics? Like, um, that just doesn't make sense to me. If you guys, like, think about it. They should have just called this the Xbox 360, like, there is the Xbox 360 Slim. They could have said that's, like, the Xbox One, but basically it's the same exact thing. You're playing 360 games on the One. 
he's kind of being like really really dumb about this like they shouldn't release it in my opinion and I think I screwed this up but uh yeah they shouldn't like I don't understand why they're gonna do that but still it's still a good thing you know but uh basically guys I think that Xbox 360 emulator is a really good thing because again you get old games on a new console like what's that's so great right you get you know it's pros you get better graphics you don't have to pay money for the same games like I don't have to go out and buy Black Ops 2 for the Xbox One if they do release I can just play the 360 version but you know, these, these things kind of this kind of makes me happy you know I really like th that they're doing this in some in some ways you know because you get like new games like I said but that's the end of the commentary guys hopefully you enjoyed this new series leave a comment what you think and I'm out of here